Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, when God created the heavens and the earth, the earth was a formless wasteland, and darkness covered the abyss, while a mighty wind swept over the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. All that uh, since childhood, I, I do believe in God, so maybe. Well, I don't believe in that. Okay. It's a really nice story, but. It's too naive and it's unrealistic and. Uh... Yeah. No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. No. Oh là, c'est compliqué. C'est une question très compliquée. Hein. Je pense que euh, c'est lié à un petit peu, c'est lié à l'enfance, c'est lié aussi au désir euh, de croire qu'il existe quelque chose d'autre ailleurs, en fait, une autre vie après la mort. C'est peut-être la peur euh, qu'il y ait la mort et le néant après aussi. Je pense qu'il y a plein, plein de motifs qui peuvent intervenir. Hein. Non, non, non. Non. <rire> Non, pas recréer le monde, il est comme il est, c'est une évolution, c'est tout. Euh, euh, non. Euh, oui, c'est une possibilité. Non. I don't believe. Yes. There are two researchers working here at this moment, looking at the peaks of energy from the accelerator, which is completely computer controlled. The machine is in the other room here. Here it is. Everything begins here. This machine can accelerate alpha particles or protons. Hydrogen and helium are ionized and then put into the machine. This machine operates with ions, which are then accelerated, then stripped and made positive, and accelerated again. Today they are running 3 millivolt particles. This is where the particles come out and go into this magnet. The line we use the most is this microbeam. From there they go into a series of tubes. All tubes are elements to focus and refocus the beam to go on target. The beam goes out into the air and into the object. The microbeam is small and on position. It is a specialized thing that we are very proud of. The beam does a lot of things that are not important, but if it hits the nucleus, we get an x-ray. When you hit an atom and knock out electrons from the inner shell, it leaves a hole so the other electrons cascade down into x-rays. We refer to this as a PICS, or particle-induced x-ray emission. There are two detectors that you see here, one for high energy x-rays and one for low energy x-rays. Both are crystals and semiconductors of germanium. Characteristic low energy goes from sodium to copper or iron and high energy goes from copper or iron to uranium. They do the whole periodic table. And nowadays, in, in a lot of particle physics experiments, what we do is we start with a beam of matter and a beam of antimatter, maybe electrons and positrons, or protons and antiprotons, and smash the matter and antimatter together, 
and that does things in reverse. The matter and antimatter annihilate, make a flash of energy, and that can coalesce into particles. And uh, we cannot make a flash of energy as big as the Big Bang, but we can make small collisions and any particle-antiparticle pair that isn't too heavy for the energy available can be created. Ça ne s'oppose pas, c'est la même chose. C'est en fait c'est la tête de l'homme qui a réussi à trouver ça, mais que c'est toujours plausible, enfin que c'est toujours possible. I think there are people that try to to combine the two theories, yeah. But it's but some people, you know, have, you have the extremists that believe that you know uh, the, the Big Bang could never have happened and because God always existed and he actually did the Big Bang by himself and stuff like that. So that that's where you can, you know, combine the two. But um, I, so I don't much. think, I, I think they collide. I don't think, I mean, they can work together, so. No. I don't think it's opposed, no. I think the two can exist. For me, I also believe in I believe in God, and I don't discount the Big Bang theory. I think it's a possibility that God caused the Big Bang to happen. So science can prove, maybe could prove the Big Bang theory, but I still, and if it does or if it doesn't, it's for me it's a theory, but um, I still believe in something greater than that, greater than science, so. Um, I think they can coincide in somewhat, but I don't know how. I don't know that, but um, as long as there is no evidence, for me there must be a scientific evidence to believe in it. So as long as there is no evidence, I cannot uh, believe in it. as I discovered that not only do not the people in the street do not know how the elements are produced, which is not surprising, but most scientists don't know, including several nuclear physicists don't know. After researching both the Big Bang Theory and creationism, the documentary team came to the conclusion that a distinct comparison between the two theories simply cannot exist. A faith-based theory cannot disprove any scientific ideas, while scientific evidence can never disprove faith. Because there can be no clear comparison between the two, there is no definite controversy.